Dr. Deb Schreibman here. What's healthy? We are. It is summertime and we are going to the beach and hanging out at the pool. And I think it is really important to talk about UV rays because July is UV ray awareness month. I know a lot of you have never heard of it, but you know what? Skin cancer is actually the most common cancer here in the United States, affecting one in five Americans in their lifetime. And that's a huge number of Americans, and that number is just going up and up and up. Um, I don't know if you know Khloe Kardashian, Hugh Jackman, Ronald Reagan, Caitlyn Jenner, Clint Eastwood. These are all celebrities that have suffered from skin cancer. In fact, I don't know if you know this, but Ma Bob Marley actually passed away from melanoma, skin cancer. UV rays can be very, very harmful to your health, to your skin, causing all kinds of other problems too. So I think this is something that's really, really worth talking about. So. I have five secrets about UV rays that I wanna share with you. And the first one is it can actually cause vision problems and damage to your eyes. And a lot of people don't realize this. So what do you do? Get undercover. Wear really, I wish I had my sunglasses here. Wear really good sunglasses for you. You want the ones that are polarized so that they protect your eyes. One of the biggest things that we see happen is that people get these junky sunglasses. They put them on and they think that their eyes are protected because they're dark, but they are not protected. And this is super, super important to remember. Stay out of the sun from 10 to 2 if you can. You know, get undercover. Wear a wide brimmed hat. I have an awesome, fun blue wide brimmed hat that I wear when I'm out. I should have brought it in for you. Um, but make sure that you are covering up as much as you can to protect yourself. The second thing, and a lot of people don't realize this, is that UV rays too much can actually suppress the immune system. So have you ever wondered why summer colds are always so much worse? It's because we're out in the sun so much more impacting our immune system. So make sure that, you know, in the summer, you're taking good care and not spending too much time in that summer sun because it is hot. Um, the other thing that I think is really, really important to know about is that you can get snow, sand, or water blindness. That's right. So if you're on a boat, make sure you wear good sunscreen and sunglasses. If you are in the water swimming, make sure you're wearing your sunglasses if you can. If you're on the beach or if you are skiing, make sure that your goggles are covering those eyes and they are polarized so that they will protect your eyeballs so we can protect your vision forever and ever because I don't know about you, but I think losing my vision would be one of the worst things that I would ever have to deal with. The fourth thing is to make sure you choose the correct sunscreen and use the correct amount, right? You need to like use a shot of sunscreen, like really a shot. Put a whole handful and slather it all over your body. The FDA usually says that you should have at least an um, UV protection of 30 or more. I always go with more. I'm always at least at 50 or 70 with a long sleeve shirt and an umbrella and a hat and sunglasses. I know it's fun to go to the beach with me every year, but Make sure you're getting the right sunscreen. You know, there's a lot of um, controversy over what kind of sunscreen, and they're talking about zinc oxide now actually being better than the other chemicals that a lot of the sunscreens have. So make sure you're looking. I always choose organic sunscreen for myself and for my family. So, you know, be really selective when you're picking out sunscreen and using it. It is so, so, so important to protect those eyes, to protect your skin, to protect that immune system. And last but not least, I want to talk about tanning beds. A lot of people think that tanning beds are much better for your skin and better for you and cause less cancer than the sun. But you know what? Um, I think it was Harvard um, that did a, a study on it that showed that that's actually not the case, that tanning beds are no safer than natural sunlight. So remember that because, you know, you go into that sun tanning bed, what do you do? You put in those little blue eye things to protect yourself. And a lot of people are just naked in there. So you're actually getting even exposed even more. So make sure that you um, are really paying attention to that. Don't go into those tanning beds if at all possible. Also remember, if you're putting sunscreen on, make sure if you're in the water or if you're sweating, you reapply at least every two hours or more. This is really important to make sure you reapply because a lot of people don't. Um, there was a research study, I think it was Stanford University, that talks about how people forget to actually reapply their sunscreen. And that's why we're seeing so many more uh, sunbirds coming around. So, you know, 
I know a lot of people look at me and they think, oh, I am extra concerned about skin because I am a ginger, right? Red hair, light eyes, light skin. And you know what? That is true. I am extra concerned about it, not just for me, but for everybody that I come into contact with because our sun is so strong. We need such good protection. And July is UV ray awareness month. So what better time to talk about it than right now? So I am wishing you loads and loads of health and happiness. If you would like to email me, you can email me at feelbetter at lakepointwellnesscenter.com. You can go to my website at feelbetterhere.com, or you can give me a call at 770-974-5215. We can have a good old fashioned conversation. Until next time, wishing you loads and loads of health and happiness. Bye-bye.